So what I'd like to show you today is how you can use the charts to filter instead of having that large list of views. So for instance, maybe we change from having views that say Eastern Canada, Western Canada, all of those views already saved, just, just having one called All Opportunities and we use the chart to filter instead. So we click on Show Chart. Our list of charts that are available for us to view is here in the drop-down list. We're going to pick opportunity by status and now if you watch the records on the right hand side when i click a part of my pie the records on the right hand side are refreshed so this is effectively filtering my records just with one click so rather than me going to the filter on status region and saying filter by open i'm able to just simply click here and see all of the 46 records returned on the right hand side You'll notice that if I click on one of the pieces of the pie, it allows me to drill down. So we can do further filtering in here as well. So let's pick territory. And this time I'll say a bar chart. So now I'm quickly seeing all of my open opportunities by territory. I can click and see Central Canada. It'll refresh on the right or Eastern Canada, for example. And of course, I can continue to filter. So I can look maybe at my rating. I'll make that back to a pie. And let's say I want to look at all my warm opportunities in Eastern Canada. Rather than me building a bunch of filters in the list and then changing them each time, I can simply use the charts to click and filter along. I can go back to my open opportunities and look at another territory as well. Another way of using the charts is for aggregate information. Sometimes that's a little bit more difficult to find in out of the box situations in CE. So if we look at this one here, we have estimated revenue by territory. So it's giving us our territory and our numbers. So we could be looking, for instance, at only our one opportunities. If I switch this to the one opportunities, my chart will update and show me updated numbers. If I need to use this for more detailed information, I can expand the chart, which will pop it out into a larger view. Now in here, it's still, I'm able to drill down just like we saw previously. I'm also able to change my views, but it's bigger. So I am able to interact with it a little bit nicer in a larger view. And keep in mind as well, if you have some presentations and need this type of information, you can also just quickly take a screenshot of this and pop it into your presentation. So that's another way for you to use the views is besides just the filtering, aggregate numbers as well to get a quick total by looking at your diff different filters and applying your chart. So if you're not using charts today, I recommend looking in CE to see what charts are already available and then also keep in mind which might be useful. If they can be created for every different area really quickly and added into the navigation so they're easy to quick to create and display and then you can start using the filtering on that immediately.